Hey guys, I just installed Debian on my laptop. It has Broadcom Wi-Fi chipset, but I cannot use it right now because there is no open source driver for that device. So I connected my computer to the internet using the standard Ethernet cable. I'm going to download and install the proprietary driver for the Wi-Fi chipset. Let's get started. First, we need to open the terminal and make sure that your Broadcom card model is supported by the available driver. You can find out the exact model name by running this command. It shows that the wireless card is indeed made by Broadcom and the model name is BCM43142. I have a list of supported devices here. Let's check it. Here is my model. That means that we can go ahead. Before we start the installation, we need to install the necessary packages. You'll need administrative rights for that. Usually, they are already pre-installed in Debian by default but it doesn't hurt to make sure. The next step is to activate non-free Debian repositories. If you followed my tutorial about NVIDIA drivers, you already have those repositories activated, so skip this step. To open the repositories list file, you should run this command. In the file, we can see all the repositories in the system. In order to add non-free repositories, let's add words contrib and non-free at the end of each line after main. You can move the cursor with the arrow keys on your keyboard. Once we're done, we need to save the file by pressing Ctrl and O on your keyboard, then Enter and Exit by pressing Ctrl and X. We should let our system know that we have changed the configuration by running update command. Before you install any drivers, it's necessary to upgrade your kernel to the latest available version. We can do that by running this command. You need to reboot the computer for the new kernel to be loaded, so I'll see you guys right after I reboot. I'm back, let's continue. The next command will install the latest Linux image, Linux headers, and the proprietary Broadcom driver. Additionally, you need to unload conflicting kernel modules if you have any. And finally, let's load the Broadcom module that we built earlier during the driver installation. At this point, we're ready to use the wireless card, so let's unplug the Ethernet cable and check if everything is working. Click on the Network Manager icon. Yay, we have a list of available Wi-Fi connections. Find the connection you want and fill in the password. Let's check it and open the Debian website. Sweet! If you don't need the current wireless connection, you can disconnect. Also, you can disable your wireless card. To do that, click on the Network Manager icon with your right mouse button and uncheck Enable Wi-Fi. All the commands that I mentioned in this video you can find in the description below. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. See you later!